Hey there, and welcome to your DuraBath instructional video. We're going to show you how to refurbish your own bathtub, or as the kids like to say, DIY it. Here's a list of materials that you'll need. I won't be offended if you want to pause for a moment. Once you've got all that, and your winning attitude, we're ready to get started. Start by removing the drain overflow. You can put that thing back on when we're done. Next, grab your X-Acto knife and scraper to remove all caulking around the tub. Start by cutting along the bottom and then the top. Cut it all out. You don't need that negativity in your life anymore. Next, take your scraper and remove all the caulking. It can be stubborn, so don't be shy. Be tough on it. When using some of these materials, it's wise to use plastic gloves. Then, grab your epoxy putty and using your X-Acto knife, cut a small sliver off of it. Smush it together until it's all one color and then apply it to the blemished area. Push it until it's level and then use sandpaper to sand it down smoothly. You don't have to sand it down all the way, just enough that the surface area is level. Continue sanding around the edges of the tub to remove all excess caulking. She's starting to look ready. Next up, take a deep breath. You're doing great. Use your scraper to remove any excess, like glue or tape. Now it's time to vacuum. Make sure to suck up any excess residue in or around the tub. Make sure your surface area is clean before we start applying anything. Finally, the last preparation step is to thoroughly rinse the tub. Mix up a bucket of water and degreaser and rinse the whole surface area. Give her a good scrub. Then take a towel or paper towel and your blow dryer and make sure there's no wet spots left behind. Carefully dry off any nook and cranny. People always focus on the nooks and forget about the crannies. It's time to tape. Using duct tape, seal up all the outside borders where the floor meets the tub. Using masking tape, Cover up all the borders where the tub meets the wall. Then, cover up the drain by creating a little divot on each application. Cover it up completely, then remove the excess with your knife. Then, go over it a complete second time, making sure that no paint will drip through. Cover it up diagonally one last time to be sure. Don't worry about the divot on the last round. Then cut around the excess. We're really getting there. Are you excited? I'm excited. Tape down some brown paper where the floor meets the tub. This way you won't have to worry about anything dripping or messing up your floors. Tape it down with masking tape so it doesn't slide or go anywhere. Put down a second layer to be sure. You can never be too sure. Then, using a rubber glove, cover the shower drain and shower head and seal it with masking tape. It's time for the bonding agent. Be careful with this stuff. You may want to cover your nose and mouth while applying. Cover the surface area in the bonding agent. Once applied, wait 20 minutes. Maybe call your mom while you wait. She worries about you. Now for the fun part. Time to get painting. Make sure your paint is between 24 and 27 degrees Celsius. If it isn't, heat that puppy up with a blow dryer. Keep stirring while you heat for maximal results. Ah, perfect. Once at the right temp, add the bottle of hardener to the paint. 
No need to measure, just pour it all in. Then, mix it up for 10 minutes until it becomes nice and smooth and one color. Seriously, mix it for 10 minutes. That's not two minutes should be good enough, mix it for 10. Using a smaller cup that you don't mind ruining, pour some paint. Then, apply it carefully along the edges of the wall. Try your best to keep it from touching the wall above the paint, but as close to the corner of where the wall meets the tub as possible. Oops, that's alright. Keep going around the entire edge of the tub. You can go back over it if you feel the need. Continue around all the edges of the tub. Don't worry about the paint dripping into the tub. That's actually what we want. Like a bartender who's bad at their job, don't be afraid to pour freely. Remove any excess paint or blemishes. If it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it. Gently remove excess paint from the corners where it tends to build up. Smooth it out by letting the paint drip. Oh yeah, that's nice and satisfying. Now it's time to remove the masking tape around the top wall of the tub. Pull off carefully, making sure your tape doesn't fall into your paint. With a spatula, scoop up any areas where there appears to be a lot of paint at the bottom of the tub and let it drip onto areas where there's less. Don't worry about how it looks right now. Gravity will do most of the work. Continue moving any paint buildup to areas that require more attention. Finish off the top of the tub by covering the top skirt with paint. Let it drip into the inside of the tub as well as the outside. Yep, let that stuff flow. Cover the entire front skirt at every angle. Feel free to use the last of your paint container to make sure that you've covered up the entire upper surface area. Again, use your spatula to even out the corners and then even out any parts that need some extra loving on the inside of the tub. You're doing great. You're really, really doing it. Use the remainder of your paint to add to any areas that may need it. Remember, you want to let it drip down. Gravity is your friend. Take a half hour break, you've earned it. Maybe write a letter to a friend you haven't spoken to in a while? Use the same technique that you used on the inside of the tub to scrape up any excess paint on the outside and apply it to any areas that look like it needs it. Remove the tape from your overflow and apply finishing touches around the edges. Now it's time to roll the bottom of the bath. Even that paint out, focusing on moving any excess to the center. Continue rolling until the entire bottom of the tub is covered. Make sure to spread out any excess paint areas.
Use your blow dryer to pop any air bubbles. Just a second or two should be enough to deflate any bubbles you may find. Using a paper towel, remove excess paint that's dripped into the drain. Also, don't be like me, keep your gloves on. Before removing your outer tape and protective brown paper, push all excess paint to the middle to avoid dripping on the outsides. And now we wait. Maybe listen to some music, uh, watch a movie, you've got some time. It's starting to look all right though, isn't it? Then remove the tape and fold the brown paper onto itself to avoid spills. Keep folding up the brown paper and then discard it. Once your paint is somewhat dry, remove the tape that was covering up your drain. Should any paint leak onto the drain, just use a paper towel to clean it off. Once you've removed all the tape and protective covering and your bath is dry, voila! You've got yourself a brand new bathtub. Congratulations! Maybe celebrate by taking a bath. You've earned it!